Dear students, I am Usha Rani, Biology Lecturer, Vishwamanava Composite Field College. So as we know that in previous class, that is in second view, so we discussed about the concept that is in biotechnology, biotechnology principles for the biotechnology applications for the world today. So in the last unit, we now discuss more about the topic, that is an ecosystem. So in the 14th chapter, ecosystem we now discuss more about it. So what is meant by ecosystem? In ecosystem, so it is a state which involves the interaction between a living organism with the physical environment. The interaction between the interaction between living organisms between living organisms and physical. And physical, natural environment. Physical, natural environment. So this is the definition for ecosystem. So the interaction between the living organism with the physical, natural environment is called as ecosystem. So it can also be defined as so there is an interaction between the biotic and abiotic factors. So interaction we have in the name that biotic and ए बायोटिक फैक्टर्स में जाने लगे थे, तो ये तो ना वो एकोसिस्टम में जब करी थी, तो टैंसली अनोन था साइंटिस्ट तो एकोसिस्टम में अनोन था वर्ड ना कॉइन में करा, तो टैंसली इस अनेक दर इस अनेक ऑफ साइंटिस्ट को कॉइन बिटो एकोसिस्टम, तो एकोसिस्टम हैव बीन ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इनटू � and aquatic ecosystem. So ecosystem have been broadly classified into two types. There is a terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. So ecosystem that was present on a terrestrial land. There is a land surface for the water ecosystem. No? Terrestrial and there Water we gave the name of aquatic ecosystem. So whereas in terrestrial ecosystem, again it has been broadly classified into a forest ecosystem, desert ecosystem, and grassland ecosystem. So there are three forms in our terrestrial ecosystem. That is a forest, desert, and grassland ecosystem. Whereas in aquatic ecosystem, it has been classified into a fresh water, fresh water, and a marine water ecosystem. Freshwater ecosystem and marine water ecosystem. So in freshwater, again it has been classified into a ponds, ditches, lakes, rivers, streams, or all classified under freshwater. Lakes, rivers, ponds, ditches, and streams. Whereas in marine water, and the salt water in the Caribbean, the marine water in the salt water. Ocean, sea, estuaries, and wet hyper wet lagoons are there. So, which two no pura na marine water le no ni pura. So, which two there is a general classification that was present in an ecosystem. So, ecosystem it is an interaction between the living organism with the physical natural environment. So, where the ecosystem has been broadly classified into two forms. There is a terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem. Terrestrial in the types of forest, desert, and Grassland ecosystem are there. Aquatically, fresh water and or salt water. Fresh water leaf, ponds, ditches, lakes, streams, example, and wood. Marine water leaf, sea, ocean, wetlands, no. estuaries, no. example, and wood. So, it's to first introduction. It is a largest ecosystem that was present on a terrestrial surface and that is a forest ecosystem. So the smallest ecosystem in a uh, biosphere, biosphere is a chick ecosystem and the only chick is there. But now general agi the one right, a pond ecosystem in there, the soil and the chick microbes in there, the no? smallest ecosystem in the world. So here in ecosystem there is an interaction occurs between the biotic and abiotic factors. So here ecosystem the classification of no? components of ecosystem. Components of ecosystem. So ecosystem has been 
consisting of two components like biotic components and abiotic components. Biotic components and abiotic components are connected. Idhari biotic components are bio means living organisms. So all the living organisms they are considered in the biotic components. So the non-living substance they are called as abiotic components. So the biotic components are in the classification of the producers, consumers, producers, consumers and decomposers. So of plants so all considered under producers, producers and consumers are all consumers. Plant to matter animals to that are there are the decomposed matter or the decomposers are there. Like this, so biotic components are classified into three forms: producers, consumers, and decomposers. For us, there are many factors that involve soil, light, temperature, pH, etc. So we wish to know now the biotic components are there. For the survival of the abiotic components, it needs an abiotic factors. By the influence of abiotic factors itself, the biotic organisms they survive. So abiotic factors in influence illa and the biotic factors in survival rate to start with that. So we have the influence basis of biotic factors to survive. So this is about our classification of components of an ecosystem. So I want to know that. Producers. All the green plants they are considered as producers. So all the green plants, green plants are considered as or considered as producers. So all the green plants are when they are producers. These are producers or the plants. So, which prepare their own food material by a process called as photosynthesis. So, photosynthesis process in the end of the day, food the prepare matter. So, food the prepare matter, it has been supplying the food for other living organisms also. Very living organisms who put in matter the food the supply matter that they carry. By a process called photosynthesis, that is in the presence of light. That is by the utilization of sunlight, which is an a vast energy that has been vast energy that has been utilized by the living organisms in the nature. That is solar energy. And then use not only plant the food, but prepare it. The prepared food that has been present in our living plants, it has been consumed by the consumers. The organisms which are directly or indirectly depending on producers to get food and energy. The organisms which are directly or indirectly organisms which are which are depending on producers directly or indirectly or indirectly to get food and energy to get food and energy so they are called as consumers so you have organisms who plants are directly or indirectly depend on the food goes for so they are not consumers so consumers are in matter types for them primary consumer Primary consumer, secondary consumer, secondary consumer, and tertiary consumers. Primary consumers, the organisms which are directly depends on plants to get food and energy. The organisms which are directly depends on plants to get food and energy, they are called as primary consumers. They are commonly called as herbivores. 
plant eating animals and the curriculum of human only and the host of the curriculum. So the organisms which are depending on primary consumers to get food and energy. They are called as secondary consumers. Primary consumers are the people who are the people who are the secondary consumers. The organisms which are depending on primary consumers to get food and energy are called as secondary consumers. They are called as carnivores. That is a flesh eating animals. Even though they are flesh eating animals. So next is tertiary consumers. The organisms which are depending on secondary and even on primary consumers. You can be a different background than an available activity with tertiary consumers of the country. They are called as top or news. So, you are now top or news of the curriculum. So, it's two really producers, consumers of that. So, next one there will be decomposers. So, decomposers, example bacteria and fungi. They are acting on a dead and decaying organic matter. Dead मते decay आगे रोवन था organic matter में ले depend आगे भी आगे रोवन था organic substance ना breakdown मारी simple inorganic substance आगे convert मारो उन्हें नवेल तक करते भी decomposers तक करते भी the organisms which are able to convert organic substance into inorganic substance आगे convert मारो उन्हें नवेल तक करते भी decomposers तक करते भी the organisms which are helpful in conversion of complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance convert the organic substance into inorganic substance So, we have complex organic substance here that simple inorganic substance are convert model process that are process model of the organisms that are decomposers. So, example for decomposers there is a bacteria and fungi. Bacteria means that fungi is an example for them. So, this is about an biotic factors, biotic components. There is an producers, consumers and decomposers. All the green plants they are considered as producers. By the utilization of sunlight, by a process called photosynthesis, they are preparing the food for themselves and even for other living organisms. Consumers, the organisms which are directly or indirectly depends on plants to get food and energy. Primary consumers, the organisms which are directly feeding on plant products. Herbivores, the producers of the non they are called as herbivores. The organisms which are depending on the primary consumers to get food and energy. Any postural depend on the food to get energy. So they are called as carnivores. The organisms which are depending on secondary consumers to get food and energy, they are called as top carnivores or or tertiary consumers. The organisms which are involved in conversion of organism which are involved in the conversion of a complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance they are called as decomposers where process called as decomposition so this is about uh, the components of ecosystem it is components of ecosystem okay now next one there is a structure of an ecosystem structure structure of ecosystem So structure of ecosystem at the current level. The structure of ecosystem will involve the interaction between the abiotic and biotic components. So structure of ecosystem only it involves the interaction between the biotic and abiotic components. Biotic with the abiotic components the interaction is that. And even there is a species richness, species composition of the area, species composition. There is a, there is a different types of diversification of organisms are present. So where there are organisms follow one particular region, so the survival rate of those that, where the ecosystem it is helpful for the species composition distribution. Species composition or distribution basis will be the north of the world. So next one, there is a stratification. Stratification. So I do one topic here. What is meant by stratification? Uh, vertical distribution of vertical distribution of vertical distribution of species composition. 
vertical distribution of species composition is called as stratification. So, in vertical distribution basis, plants are classified They are classified into herbs, shrubs, and trees. Herbs, shrubs, and trees are the classified. So, this is about the structure of ecosystem. Ecosystem structure is so, a biotic and biotic factors in the interaction of species composition in the stratification. It is a vertical distribution of and species composition in an area. In the particular area, the species composition of vertical distribution of the territory. Other places are herbs, shrubs and trees are there. Uh, stratification, vertical distribution of the trees are made and can occupy one part. Other than the kind of shrubs are there, other than the trees are there. So, each to the now structure of the territory. Next to the fundamental aspect, that is a functional aspects of ecosystem we are working on. Functional aspects, functional aspects of ecosystem. So ecosystem only yaw yaw functional aspects for the baratayata. So the first one that is on productivity. Productivity. Second one, decomposition. Decomposition. Third one, that is an energy flow. Energy flow. Fourth one, that is an nutrient cycle. Nutrient cycle. So these are the four functional aspects of ecosystem. So ecosystem only non-aku functional aspects pada nalu nota oktivi. Ya ada tu productivity, decomposition, energy flow and nutrient cycle. So each two functional aspects only biotic components, abiotic components na ya ada interaction present serata. So without the influence of abiotic factors, biotic organisms they cannot survive under the river. For to describe this, we can take an one of the shortest example, simplest example that is an pond ecosystem. So you want the pond ecosystem to the simple if you know example of the pond ecosystem. So this is a pond. The pond it is a shallow water body at the country. Pond a shallow water body at the country. So a shallow water body. Top carnivores 
So, we all have the interaction. One organism, one the food consumer. So, it has been completely related to the flow of energy. One kada in the one kada in the flow of energy. How does it go? So, how well? When plants and animals, they become a death. So, they come over the surface of soil. By the action of bacteria and fungi, the decomposition process takes place. By the action of bacteria and fungi, the decomposition, it takes place. That results where the complex organic material has been broken down into simple inorganic substance those inorganic substance again enters into soil that nutrients that enters into soil again it has been utilized by the producers that type of cycling of nutrients is called as nutrient cycling the cycling nutrients are the correct thing soil and the nutrient but the plants use not the other consumers who decompose us to the right not the other one nutrient cycling by taking up one of the simplest example that is a pot ecosystem, we describe the functional aspects of ecosystem. Biotic factors, abiotic factors, any interaction with the chikku ecosystem of the ecosystem. So, as to now, we describe that. So, as to add the matter, again, the functional aspects of the body, and the functional aspects of the body. First one, that is a productivity. So in productivity and that, the rate of biomass or an organic matter that has been synthesized by the producers during photosynthesis. So photosynthesis and one thaa process in the plants who any food prepare maadatthe, biomass na produce maadatthe, adhana namili anandha karakthi productivity anandha karakthi. The productivity completely depending on the rate of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis mele depend on that. So productivity on that. Primary productivity and secondary productivity in the classifier mark to be. Primary productivity. So, in the primary productivity in the rate of, the rate of biomass, rate of biomass or organic matter or organic matter produced by produced by producers produced by the producers so primary productivity nothing but the rate of biomass or an organic matter produced by producers during photosynthesis Photosynthesis and one half process is the plant to in food na prepare maratha in the form of biomass or in the form of organic matter that condition is called as productivity that is called as primary productivity. So, e primary productivity na na vile na kare di vi. So, rate of biomass and the nekare di vi. Rate of biomass that is called primary production and the nekare di vi. So, we have a weight and the consideration of the reality of the gram and the kg and the other one. So, gram and the kg. So, we have a consideration of the gram per meter square per year and the consideration of the weight. Gram per year per meter square. And then, gram per meter square per year. One worship here, one specific area that we yes to productivity are given and then I will discuss more about that. Productivity be it. So, productivity is part of the energy in the supply of the data. So, it can also be denoted by kilo calories. Kilo calories per meter square per year. Kilo calories per meter square per year. So, it is another way to do productivity be it. So, productivity and rate, primary productivity and rate, rate of biomass or an organic matter that has been produced by the producers during photosynthesis. It can be denoted in terms of gram or in the terms of kilocalories. So, gram per meter square per year at the moment. Kilocalories per meter per year at the moment. So, this is about an primary productivity at the moment. So, primary productivity ली मत्ते types पर अथा, येरेडो types पर कोड़ना The types of primary productivity Types of primary 
productivity for 
primary productivity. So primary productivity के या वो factor हो essential आगे break हुआ ना कुछ नहीं थे. So ना बिल्कुल अदर एक तो उन्हें first one rate of photosynthesis. Rate of photosynthesis. So H two चना की photosynthesis नहीं है तो H two चना की primary productivity नहीं है तो आमेर space और area of distribution area of distribution अंदर अगर यहाँ पर area तो नहीं जाना तो पूरा different आता है because so area और अगर है factors पर आप अलग अलग एक तो soil चना की जाए water चना की जाए humidity चना की जाए अंदर अंदर कड़े spaces and which productivity just क्या करता होता है space or area of distribution it depends the primary productivity and presence of chlorophyll chlorophyll just the induction to put on photosynthesis channel and then we go through the color photosynthesis it takes place in chloroplast so chloroplast will be a chlorophyll pigment only pigment help mark and the photosynthesis can be and the environmental factors environmental or climatic factors so environmental or climatic factors and the water that is a light temperature soil mineral nutrients that they are available in the form of abiotic components that increases the productivity so it's to productivity but the first functional aspects of an ecosystem the productivity so productivity and the biomass that has been produced by the producers during photosynthesis. Primary productivity, secondary productivity and the classification. Primary productivity and the rate of biomass that produced by the producers during photosynthesis that is called as primary productivity. So it can be denoted by the help of an unit called gram per meter square per year, kilo calories per meter square per year because the biomass has been completely depending upon the distribution of area, meter kura no agatha, but the time kura no related agatha. So next to idad mela, the reason there are two types of primary productivity, gross primary productivity and net primary productivity. The total biomass that has been produced by the producers during photosynthesis, that is called as gross primary productivity, that can be abbreviated in the form of GPP. Whereas the energy that has been left in the plants even after the utilization of energy during by respiration that is called as NPP that is an left energy NPP GPP minus R equals to NPP and theory. Next one the secondary productivity. The rate of new organic matter that has been produced by the consumers is called as secondary productivity. So otherly the factors affecting the uh, productivity and the primary productivity in the right? rate of photosynthesis, area of distribution, the presence of chlorophyll, presence of chloroplast, and the environmental or climatic factors. So these these are about and the first functional aspect productivity. Productivity and the next one are decomposition. So next one that is. Decomposition. So, you know, decomposition of that. The process of conversion of complex organic substance into simple inorganic material that is called as decomposition. So, the process of conversion of conversion of a complex a complex organic substance complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance So that is called as decomposition. The process of conversion of complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance is called as decomposition. So decomposition is not the only but decompose model value decomposers. So decomposers are bacteria and fungi. 
bacterium and fungi so which are also called saprophytes so bacteria and fungi ne anta karithe nau saprophytes anta kuda nau karithe iga idu nam terminology kuda detritus anta detritus so the dead remains of plants and animals are called as detritus one mark alli kelthare dead remains of dead remains of plants and animals are called as detritus even it involves the fecal matter so even it will be fecal matter kuda no involve agutte that is an excretory product the dead remains of plants and animals are called as detritus the animals which are depending on detritus they are called as detritus so yav animal detritus mele depend agirutte avane enta karthivi detritus ante karthe example for detritus that is earthworm so ili earthworm anta helbodu so ishtu nam yaru helbodu decomposition process of conversion of an complex organic substance into simple inorganic material or inorganic substance so where the organisms which are called decomposers example bacteria and fungi the dead remains of plants and animals are called as detritus even they are it involves a fecal matter the animals which are depending on detritus are called as detritivores example earthworm so is to decomposition introduction so decomposition andre enu anta gotayitu but decomposition steps enu anta nodu steps so decomposition is the five marks ke thumba important ki question no steps involved in decomposition so first one that is a fragmentation and the fragmentation so what is meant by fragmentation the breakdown of detritus into a smaller particles so detritus it convert the remains of plants and animals it will break down agi simple substance agi convert agodana simple particles agi convert agodana fragmentation ante karthe so process of process of conversion the process of conversion of detritus detritus into smaller particles into smaller particles so if there are smaller particles are like they cut made over here by detritus by detritus in the conversion has been taken place so the process where it is involves conversion of detritus into smaller particles by the detritus is called as fragmentation a detritus yara gidare earthworm agirutte earthworm dead plants ittu ankonu dead plants tha addu ele gane matte chik chik gaadi chop maadi cut maadukonu aa process na nagale fragmentation ante karthe so fragmentation andre leech so you observe one photo i have chop aad mele sorta idike dry aad bodu karana adrale iro neerin amsha ella neeku bodu so adanna nam ee leaching process alli helbodu inga the water soluble material that was present in the detritus it get perforated into the soil the water the water soluble substance present in present in detritus it get perforates it get perforates into soil it get perforate into soil and even and even they become unavailable salts ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅದರೊಳಗೆ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೋಲೇಬಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್
ಎಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಹೊರಗೆ ಡೆಪ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಜ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇರುವಷ್ಟು ಅನ್ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ಲೀಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಾಲೆಬಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೆಡ್ ವೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಅನ್ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ಯಾವುದು ಫ್ರಾಗ್ಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಅದ್ರ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ ಸೊ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ The complex organic substance has been broken into simple inorganic substance is called as catabolism. The complex organic substance, organic substance converted into converted into simple inorganic substance simple inorganic substance by action of by the enzymatic action of by the enzymatic action of bacteria and fungi bacteria and fungi so this is called as catabolism so bacteria with the fungal action this is called as ಅದರಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತಹ ಎನ್ಸಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತಹ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕೆಟಬಾಲಿಸಿ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆನ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ಅಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಅಮಾರ್ಫಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಒಂದು ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಫ್ರಾಗ್ಮೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಯಾರು ಅರ್ಥವಾಗ ಚಾಪ್ ಮಾಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಾಲೇಬಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೀರು ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಆಗಡೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಉಳಿದಿರೋದನ್ನ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತು ನಿಧಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ತರ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅಂತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಸ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಮಾರ್ಫಸ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ amorphous the dots amorphous acidic adana humic acid and the it again again acidic property presence in the the dark amorphous acidic component that has been formed that form that form is called as cubification the form is called as cubification okay so it was resistant to the microbial activity idu microbial activity ge resistant agirutte so they are resistant to resistant to microbial activity so microbial activity idu resistant agi work madutte so adu basis mala thavana ina sathi anta humification andre the formation of a dark colored amorphous acidic components the process which involves the dark colored amorphous powder that has been formed by process called as humification so which was showing resistant to the microbial activity it further decomposes and also the time to go on the carry last step now last step that is a mineralization mineralization so where by the action of some of the microbes the humus further degraded into degraded to form an a mineral element so the lirond the mineral element soil ne entry agutte so humus further degraded by further degraded by some microbes some microbial activity some microbial activity so where the nutrients where the nutrients get enters into soil where they get and nutrients get enters into soil so this is the last step of decomposition so he was formation and it was resistant to the microbial activity and then it 
but some of the microbes react over it and then it was undergoing further decomposition process. So where the nutrients that was present in the humus, it get enters into the soil. This is called as mineralization. So what does it matter now? Decomposer soil, dead remains of plants and animal soil may be. So again, decomposers play a major role to balance an ecosystem. Ecosystem na clean agi ekpona ke help mara ke yaad hume decomposers sunte kare. So it's two decomposition process ali fragmentation, leaching, mineralization, sorry catabolism, humification, mineralization the nodi. So it's two aspect aam hume na. The factors affecting the decomposition. So ido decomposition ina steps na five marks ke kare tarai. Factors affecting the decomposition three marks इगर आता है अदना नो आना Factors affecting the decomposition decomposition इना factors ना affect मारो आप तो यहाँ पे आता है so the only first one is chemical composition. So the only chemical composition is that. So here the chemical composition, detritus cell. Adre dead remains are there. Can we detritus cell? If it consisting of nitrogen, so if it consisting of a water soluble element, water soluble element. And glucose and nitrogen. So in our detrit assembly, water soluble elements, so glucose, so nitrogen, so amino acids, so on there, decomposition in a way to fast study at the other. Fast study decomposition to so that. If the chemical composition is consisting of lignin and what? Lignin, pectin. और काइटिन, लिग्निनो, पेक्टिनो, काइटिनो ये तरह ये ना रेलिमेंट्स इसको जो है, डिकंपोजिशन रेट ये ना जो है, स्लो आ गया है। सो दिस इस अपॉर्ट में केमिकल कंपोजिशन। इफ द डेट्रेंसिस इट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वाटर सॉल्युबल एलिमेंट्स, ग्लूकोस, नाइट्रोजन, अमाइनो एसिड्स एक्सेट्रा, सो वेन � if the detrit is consisting of lignin, pectin or chitin, so the decomposition rate goes slow agya kara gata. So here are the climatic factor. So climatic factor le na gata hai, if moist, so moist environment ikto anta gata, moist it favors the decomposition. Favors decomposition. So moist so environment it only decomposition of faster than that. If but aerobic condition could I be aerobic and moist it to under decomposition faster than that. If anaerobic condition it do wet it to under so the day that it up slow decomposition decomposition rate in under slow. So, I'm going to add that again on the soil plays a major role in during decomposition. So, that we just think that I'm going to add that decomposers are going to add that soil in the environment would have no decomposition rate in the middle depend on the effect of the condition. So, I'm going to add aerobic and moist condition of soil in the middle it favors the decomposition. If the soil has an aerobic condition and wet so it results the slow decomposition in the middle. So this is about the factors that are affecting the decomposition. So even though now we are in concepts for now, what are the ways that we can also recall what the brana? First one to ecosystem that is an interaction between the living organisms and the physical, natural environment. There are two types of an ecosystem: terrestrial and aquatic. So terrestrial ecosystem only grassland, forest, and a desert. Aquatic ecosystem only fresh water and salt water. Fresh water only ponds, ditches, rivers, streams and the karitavi. Marine water only under fresh water, salt water only ocean, sea, estuaries, lagoons and the karitavi. So, this is the components of ecosystem, biotic and abiotic factors. 
a biotic components it involves producers consumers and decomposers the producers all the green plants they are considered as producers the organisms which are directly or indirectly depending depending on plants to get food and energy they are called as consumers in that primary secondary and tertiary consumers are divided under that so the animals which are directly depends on plants to get food and energy are called as primary consumers and the organisms which are depending on primary consumers to get food and energy are called as secondary consumers which are depending on secondary consumers to get food and energy are called tertiary consumers so they have been classified based on the nutritional level herbivores carnivores and top carnivores the decomposers they involved in a breakdown of complex substance into simple inorganic substance so that will abiotic factors like light temperature sunlight to temperature of ph to soil to water ivella kuda no depend agirakanta kalipothu so next to ecosystem in a structure bage nodidvi adu the stratification anta kalipothu so stratification alli en irutha so the vertical distribution of species composition based on that herbs shrubs and trees are classified anta kuda no kalipothu so next the functional aspects of an ecosystem it involves productivity decomposition energy flow and nutrient cycle so the first one that is our productivity the rate of biomass that has been synthesized by the producers by process of photosynthesis is called as productivity in that there are two types primary productivity and secondary productivity so the productivity the organic matter that has been produced by the producers is called primary productivity in that there are two classification that is a net primary productivity and gross primary productivity gross that is the total biomass produced by the plants during photosynthesis that can be abbreviated in the term called as gpp so the biomass where the energy has been utilized and after that the left energy that is present in the plants is called as npp the energy left even after the utilization of energy by the plants that is so it can be abbreviated in the term called npp so gpp minus r equals to npp so next one secondary productivity the rate of new organic matter that has been produced by the consumers is called as secondary productivity the factors affecting the productivity and the one environmental factors amount of chloroplast or chlorophyll pigment space area and the rate of photosynthesis so next one the decomposition the process of conversion of complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance is called decomposition the dead remains of plants and animals are called detritus which they are depend they depends on uh, the organisms which are depending on detritus are called as detritivores example earthworm the steps involved in decomposition that is a uh, fragmentation where the detritus has been broken down into a uh, smaller particles is called as a fragmentation by detritivores the water soluble elements that get perforated into the soil and they become unavailable salts is called as a leaching in catabolism the complex organic substance breaks down into simple inorganic substance by the enzymatic action of bacteria and fungi so then the formation of an dark colored amorphous powder is called humus by a process called humification it was showing an microbial resistant property so then the humus was further decomposed there is a further it has been acted by some of the microbes where the nutrients get enters into soil by process called nutrient cycle the factors that are affecting the decomposition it involves the chemical composition and climatic factor the chemical composition if the detritus is consisting of glucose amino acids water soluble elements or nitrogen the decomposition rate was fast when the detritus is consisting of lignin pectin or chitin the decomposition rate it results a slow factor so if it consisting of climatic factors and the bandra aerobic with the moist environment it will that favors the decomposition if the environmental factor consisting of anaerobic and wet condition that results the slow of decomposition so is to ivatina classes related to assignment question bakona so ivatina assignments question nodona first one define ecosystem list the types of ecosystem with example terrestrial aquatic or other liberal types of ecosystem right and the components of ecosystem complete components biotic components and you know producers consumers decomposers for every you know, consumers like three types of matter abiotic factors for you define stratification 
list the functional aspects of ecosystem. Functional aspects are like the Define productivity, write about sit types. Primary productivity and no, secondary productivity and no. Differentiate between GPP and NPP, that is gross primary productivity and net primary productivity. Describe decomposition, definition of steps should describe my level. What are debt builders and debt rewards? Write about the function, factors that was affecting decomposition. So decomposition affect model and have factors that we have on the variable. So each two in the question and questions below. So if related in any other doubts with that clarification, we can call body. But within time, assignments are the Thank you students.